Today I'm going to talk to you about my top seven reasons why you should move to the beautiful neighborhood of Morris Cove in New Haven. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Stacey Olson with the Valentini team at William Ravers Real Estate. And on my channel, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about living on the Connecticut shoreline. Morris Cove is a cute little neighborhood that's tucked away on the eastern shore of New Haven, right on the Long Island Sound. Most of the homes here have been around probably for at least 100 years. There's a lot of Dutch colonials, craftsmen, and bungalows. And these clusters of neighborhoods are so beautiful. And quite honestly, when you drive around, it feels like it could be 100 years ago. The ambiance is just like that. People walking around, everyone's friendly, beautifully kept homes. It really, truly is a jewel in New Haven. There are many reasons to live in Morris Cove, but I'm going to talk about my top seven reasons. Let's get to it. Number one for me is the party seawall. This is quintessential Morris Cove. I feel like when people think about Morris Cove, this is what they think about. It's absolutely breathtaking. They have amazing views of the harbor and there's nice breezes. The ocean air like hits your face. There's a few beaches down there and you'll see folks out and about enjoying this seawall pretty much any time of year. And there's a two mile walk that you can do that starts up at Fort Nathan Hale, which I'll talk about later. And it's relatively easy. It's really appropriate for all ages and abilities. And another thing they do at the seawall every year is a Halloween parade. I mean, come on, how cute is that? Number two. Lighthouse Point Park. This is also iconic in Morris Cove because people come from all around for several reasons. Not only do they enjoy the beaches, the boat launch, the fishing pier, the splash pad, but there's two other huge things that draw people to this park. Number one, they have the Five Mile Point Lighthouse. That's right, there's an actual lighthouse right there in the park and it's beautiful the views are amazing and quite honestly we don't have a ton of lighthouses in connecticut so this makes this park pretty special and the second huge draw is the carousel they have a carousel that's contained within a building there from 1916 and it's still working it's open seasonally throughout the year but it's absolutely beautiful so these are two huge draws to that park. And another highlight about Lighthouse Point Park is in the holiday season, they have what they call Fantasy of Lights, and they transform the entire park into a beautiful holiday light display. Thousands of people come to this every year, and I highly recommend you check it out. Number three, East Shore Park. Let me tell you, this park is massive. I couldn't believe it when I went there, how big it was. It just kept going and going and going. This is a recreational facility that has tennis courts, bike paths, walking trails, ball fields, soccer fields. I mean, it's amazing. And on top of it, they have a handicap accessible playground. So really, it's there for the community and everyone can truly enjoy it. Number four. Tweed New Haven Airport. This little airport recently had a revitalization. They have a new carrier that came in called Avalo, and they started offering nonstop flights to several popular areas like Florida, Nashville, Myrtle Beach, Washington DC, just to name a few. But this is like a game changer because for people that live in this area, Generally, you either have to drive an hour up north to Bradley or an hour to an hour and a half going west to either LaGuardia or JFK. So to have something so close that pretty much hits all the hot spots on the East Coast is a big deal for us here. Number five, Fort Nathan Hale Park. So Fort Nathan Hale and Black Rock Fort have been around since the Revolutionary War. I know, that's crazy. But today, visitors can go there and see a partially restored 
Civil War facility, as well as a revolutionary fort right here in your own backyard. That's pretty cool. Also at the park is a pavilion. There's picnic tables for cookouts. There's a playground, bocce courts, a beach, a fishing pier. So there's tons to do there. And as an added bonus, for Easter, they do an Easter egg hunt there. Number six, the Party Morris House. This is actually listed on the state and national registrar of historic places. This house was built around 1750 and actually was burned in the ground by the British on a raid on New Haven in 1779. The owner then rebuilt it. And today it's actually an area where several nice events happen for the New Haven community. Some of the great events they hold there are a Twilight Summer Concert Series, they have lectures, they have community events and workshops, and most of these are free to the public. And they also host the annual Morris Cove Day there, where they have vendors and food and artists. It's really just a nice day for the community to come together to celebrate the area. And number seven, I can't mention Morris Cove without mentioning the two very popular wedding and event venues that call it home. First, Anthony's Ocean View. This has been around for four decades and it sits right on the sound. This is a favorite spot for weddings and corporate events. And I know sometimes they even hold things that are open to the public. Like I recently saw, they're gonna have a Mother's Day brunch held there. So they do have other options if you're looking to get in there. Second, Amaranti's Sea Cliff, another breathtaking venue right on the sound. There are several tiers of decks back there. They have a beautiful gazebo and trees. It truly is breathtaking. And it's beautiful for a wedding or any event you need to hold. And I do know that they do open to the public starting in May. You can go out on their back decks, have a drink, eat some food, and enjoy the magnificent view. Morris Cove is a cute neighborhood tucked away from the hustle and bustle of New Haven right on Long Island Sound. And if you like neighborhoods like that, check out my video on Woodmont as it's very similar.